Hello, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to a new video. And today I will teach you how to code Java on your computer. So basically I'm using Apple's Mac OS X and you can use any other operating system if Java Virtual Machine is available on it. So there is no difference in making or writing a code on Apple OS X or on Windows or on Ubuntu or any other OS. So we will start with the very basic program in Java. And as all of you might know that Java is an object oriented language that means it is way more different and difficult than a normal standard language. So we will study different aspects of Java in our further tutorials. Starting from the basic syntax, we will read and understand our object objects and classes then we will study about basic data types variable types modifiers basic operators loop control and many other stuff so let's we start with the overview and in this tutorial i will teach you how to write a single code in java and then how to compile it and how to run it so we will just start with a simple code and with only one class in it so basically classes are a part of Java in which we can write different objects and different parts of a code and we can just make modules of it a small parts of a big program that can run together at the final stage so we will start with the name as our first code so we will write public which means the code is public which can be used in different location then we will write class and then we will give space and we will write first code so here you have to be careful about writing writing the names java is case sensitive if you write first code with first letters capital as f and c in this condition it has to be same in all of the part of the program and it has to be same when you save the program as java file so if you write first dot code in capital, then you have to save it as it is. So we will start with first class, public class first code, and then we will write a simple code, public static void main string with a capital S string and with brackets A R G S bracket closed, and with curly brackets we will write as a system with capital S system dot out dot print ln and then normal brackets double quotation marks hello world I am youtuber then we will close it and then we will check if we had both of the curly brackets correct First for the class we will add one bracket here and on the ending the second bracket. So we are done with our first code and this is very simple code without a constructor. So constructors are part of classes and we haven't studied about it right now. So I will tell you about the constructor later on but we will just start it as it is so it becomes easy for you people to understand. So now after this we will save the file. How you have to save the file is you have to click on save as and then you have to select any of the location for for the ease of the writing code I will select desktop as my save position and on desktop I will make a new folder and I will call it Java and Java run with J and R capital I will create the folder and in this folder I will save the file with the same name as we put on the public class so I will save it as first code dot Java once saved it will appear that the our IDE integrate development has understood has read the code and it makes it properly a Java code now what you have to do is you have to open CMD on Windows which is command promote CMD on Windows and you have to open terminal on OS X so we are done with our code and 
after this we will open cmd on windows cmd on windows and terminal on os x both of these command line apps in which we can write codes to run on the operating systems use the same code uh, to run java files so basically if you are on windows or on mac os x or on jubuntu there is no big difference so first of all you have to move to your uh, desktop for which we will write cd desktop and if you are on windows you first have to move out of the folder if you are in any other different folders to go back a folder we use cd dot dot on windows and if you press cd dot dot you will go back to your main drive and from there you can just write cd desktop if you had error on going to cd desktop on the first place so we are in the cd desktop and now what we'll do is we will go to cd java run to the folder i saved the file once done we will go we will write java c space first code which is the name of our code dot java after pressing this the folder the terminal has compiled or the cmd on the windows has compiled our java file as first java code now to run this file we write java first code Let's press enter so now you can see our code has been displayed hello world i am a youtuber if you make any indentation any difference or any kind of editing in your code you have to resave it you have to recompile it and then rerun it to display the changes for example if i write hello world i'm a youtuber and i am working on java so if you made this change and if you will run the code again java first code it will show that hello world i'm youtuber and it does not show the difference so what you have to do is you have to save the file command s can be used windows s and save the file go and write again java c first code dot java once done you have to rerun it java first code and now the difference will be displayed that's all for the very first tutorial on our java virtual machine and java world thanks all for watching hope you guys liked it hope you guys enjoyed it for more videos please subscribe and share until the very next video please take care allah hafiz Thank you.